we are now going to start our DVT project from scratch. So we want to create a DVT project and we don't have anything yet. How do we start? First, you would create something like a repository where you want to store that DVT project and you could use the started project that they provide. This is going to provide us the basic folders and files that we're going to need and it even includes some example models. One of the important files that we're going to see while setting up our project is DVT project YML. And here we're going to be able to define global settings for our project, like the name, uh, the profile. This is the setting that's going to configure which database is DVT going to be using to run this project. So we could actually have one DVT project and then by changing the profile, we can run our project in let's say Postgres and then we can change it and we can run it against BigQuery. And um, since uh, DVT is going to be generated, the DDL and the DML for us, it's going to make it way simpler because it's going to adapt it to the correct version. Uh, we can also define other settings that are global. For example, in a given folder, every model that it's there, it's going to be a view or it's going to be a table unless it is indicated otherwise in the model. We can also define global variables that we could use in different like, models or test. So how do we create this started project? I'm now going to show how to start a project locally. So if you're using a local installation of DBT, I created already an empty repository to start my project from scratch. And I also want to show that I cloned this repository locally and in my Postgres uh, environment, I have my database that's called production. You may have a different name. So, and under my database, I created another schema for me to run my DVT models. This is where I'm going to create my DVT models when I'm writing it locally. And you should already have the trips data all the schema where you have the green and the yellow trip data loaded from Airflow. So I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code. What it's very important to start developing uh, locally is that we define the profiles YML. In the profiles YML, you can define as many profiles as you want, uh, but basically what you should define here is the connection to the database you're going to be using. This profiles YML is going to live outside of my DVT project, which means I could have several DVT projects and um, in all of them use the same or several profiles and all of these profiles will be always define in one single file. This file, as it lives outside of those projects, it's in my home directory, um, slash dot dbt slash profiles YML. So here, for example, I've defined um, my connection to Postgres. I name my uh, tag at dev, and then under dev, I define my um, user, my password, my database name production that I show you, my schema, and how many threads I want to use while running DVT locally. And uh, here I could even have several targets under the same database. So imagine you want to run things in a sandbox and then in production you could define them here and then alternate targets. Um, I've also defined uh, one for my BigQuery account as well. Know that if you're using lo local DVT installation for uh, BigQuery, then you should install DVT with the BigQuery adapter. And if you're using it for Postgres, with the Postgres adapter. If you want to alternate between Postgres and BigQuery, know that you'll have to unlink and link the correct adapter. So now I'm located already in my uh, project folder and I'm going to do DVT in it. And this is going to clone the local repository. At first, um, it's going to create another folder inside my already uh, created folder for the repository. This is probably because it's meant to first create a project and then upload it as a repo. Um, so we are going to take that out. So the, the name of our project is going to be taxi underscore rights New York. 
this is um, asking me which database to use. Since I'm already installed, I have already installed the Postgres adapter, then it's going to take my Postgres by default. And if you see here, it already created, it created a log folder and it already created a um, Taxi of Rights New York folder under my other folder. I'm going to move all of this outside and then I want to keep only this one. And under this one, we're going to see several other folders that are going to be used during the development. Let's first go to the duty project YML. We can see already that it used the name of the project that we defined, but the profile, it's wrong because we actually define our profile with this name. It could be that you have a different one. Just make sure that your profile, if you didn't use the one in the sample code from the repository from the workshop, then um, you should uh, change it up here as well. So just make sure that it's the same for both. And um, here, if we see, we also have already the uh, name of our project. And in this file, we're going to have definitions that affect the whole project. Something that we could actually do is a DVT debug locally, and it will test that our connections are, are um, working to a database and also our project. So in my case, since I already changed all of the connections uh, to, in order not to show, it's going to fail, but hopefully in your case, it works.